Lagos Business School, Pan Atlantic University. My name is Tara Beladrutoe, and I'm the creative and director and founder of House of Tara. Um, some of the challenges I faced in, you know, I, I think the challenges have differed depending on our business cycle. Um, so in the startup stage, um, the, the business challenges were different, just trying to create an industry that didn't exist. Um, and, you know, in our growth, in our, uh, growth stage, it was finding financing and, and also finding people, um, having to create the people who can come and work with us because it wasn't an established industry um, in the past. And, and I think in this more maturing stage for us, um, I think one of the greatest challenges for me is, is leadership and, and how to lead uh, a new, new set of professional managers. Um, and also in a time where I grew the business as an owner manager, um, I was very hands-on and I was in part of every decision that I was taking. Um, learning how to let go um, and trusting people um, and finding capable hands, but also trusting the capable hands. Um, um, improving our management processes. So when the business was the smaller size, these were the processes that we put in place. But how do you scale it? How do you ensure that um, you, there's continuity? but also ensuring that in the continuity, you are also flexible enough to change when the change is required. Um, so I'll talk about one of the challenges as being, um, first of all, defining your values as a business and therefore building a culture around those values. Um, it's something that I think it's important for every organization to have, where it becomes clear and the people know what we stand for, but also the people leave it in and out of work. Um, I, I think the first thing is for every um, owner founder uh, or CEO who's running, his, uh, running the organization to first of all be clear and then also to be committed to those values uh, because leadership is, is relative, it's definitely by example. And so you have to be seen to believe those values, to live those values, and you have to exemplify those values. Um, you have to be the model for those values. Um, I think that um, every organization needs to have a strong culture that people can identify with to say, if we're coming to you, it's also a competitive advantage um, for anyone who's, who's, doing a, who's doing a business. Um, I think that we have to take responsibility as CEOs. If we take responsibility as CEOs and we leave those values every day in and out of work. So um, whether the, the values, is, for example, is customer service um, that you want to promote, um, it becomes important for your team to see that when you are not even in the office, you're committed to customer service, meaning you demand customer service from your bankers, you demand customer service from your gardener, you demand good customer service from anyone who's relating with you. And so your life is in and out of work, the values that you have created for the business and therefore you leave it. And what's culture really is about your way of life and where your life shouldn't be only within the organization. Um, I think um, one of the other challenges is, you know, as an owner founder, who has then become, you begin to start attracting professional managers. Um, to be able to attract professional managers, you have to have strong corporate governance. And um, people find that attractive. Um, and, and there's a general tendency for, for professional managers not to want to work for owner CEOs um, because the businesses are not run in a, in, in a way that corporate governance is upheld. And, and I think it becomes, you have to show that this is important to you. Uh, it's a huge, it's difficult, but it's one of those difficult things that we've done. As business owners, we're always doing difficult things. That's why we succeed in business. So to put together a board of, of directors that you're accountable to, whether or not um, they are their shareholders, uh, if they're just advisory, but be committed to the number of, of board meetings that you have, be committed to following through on the recommendations that have been made by the board. Um, also be seen to be following the rules, whether the structure and the frameworks or it's the processes that is being um, upheld as an organization. And, and I think every, the, ball, the, the ball still stops at your door as, as the CEO. And, and every decision that you make will determine the culture that you create, will determine the way people see the organization. That responsibility is on us. It's been a great experience. I always loved being at LBS. Um, I, I was in the OMP 11 class. Uh, a few years ago and you know I enjoyed it and looked forward to coming back and so it was great to be back at the CP class 25 and you know it was strategic that LBS is 25 years 
um, and I get to be part of that class. Um, it, was a, it was an interesting combination. So I came from a, an OMP class where everyone was an owner manager, but here we, 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 were, we had a mix, some people who had been appointed CEOs, and in some cases, people who worked in financial services and had started up their own financial services companies, and a few entrepreneurs, owner founders. Uh, it was interesting to have that combination, um, especially in a class where we're talking about corporate finance. You see the class come alive, and when we're talking about capital markets, you see the excitement in the room. Um, it's, I, I think from a network standpoint, it was great. From a learning standpoint, um, there's some of the things that we had learned from the OMP program, but just taking it to the next level, and the responsibility became more. Um, whether it's in terms of corporate governance or corporate finance or personal strategy or um, learning to adapt your strategy to your financials. Um, I think it's just a great experience and I think just having been on the campus is great. Plus the food, as they say, enjoy. Lagos Business School, Pan-Atlantic University.